bangers. Since time immemoria, the population of Earth have been in pursuit of bangers. From the age of dinosaurs hunting the Bangasaurus, to the Bangalithic people who introduced bangers to early human, to today's innovation in vegan bangers to ensure more can enjoy banger. But what is a banger? A banger is a juicy track that has a big meaty drop or succulent beat. That, my friend, is the wrong banger. But still a valid banger. A banger is also actually a result of early sausages being packed out with water. When the water would burst out and hit the oil used to fry them, they'd bang, hence the name. But yes, it is also totally a banger of a track. Today we celebrate bangers in games, be it games that are focused on sausages, or feature them in some way. Welcome to Speed Bangers 23. There we go, I forgot to unmute myself, so we're already off to a fantastic start. Welcome, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. Hello, welcome to Speed Bangers 23. We are going to be holding um, a few random runs today, a few little pre-records. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a weird one. Um, it's not as long as it is. Welcome on in, Garlips, welcome on in, Pixel Portable. Zero sound, like, you could be louder, right. Like a fair bit if possible okay let's uh crank that up a little bit hopefully that's a little bit better is that better people we want to make sure that this is good it's not going to be but i'd like to at least try let's see if it is adjust audio a little bit more as well that might help could be louder is that better crank it louder turn up the stereo there we are. Fantastic. We should be all good now. Uh, just saw it peek into red, so hopefully we're okay now. Uh, but welcome on in. We've got some runs today. We've got some pre-recorded runs. We've got some live runs. So you're going to end up seeing some live runs from myself, as well as Garlips today. And we've also got a lovely little sausage percent run from a relatively new runner uh, known as Marty Nooseneck, who is also known as Siamese Cat Twin. He will be running uh, Little Nightmares sausage percent uh, this is a brand new category where you just have to get to a sausage so uh, it's going to be a fantastic lovely little run yes we good and a banger in chat already wonderful stuff uh, don't forget if you've got channel points you can end up unlocking a banger which you can then end up using uh, it's part built up of four different parts so you can end up enjoying that lovely wonderful style of banger right uh, we're a little bit ahead of schedule actually because um so quite a little bit of story time for you here i ended up picking up this terrible terrible game and uh this game is really not good i mean it's it's got a little bit of charm to it it's got um some lovely hand-drawn art it's got graphics um it works it runs um but all in all it's not very good it's 79p so that that really did tilt me over the edge for it Graphics are a plus. It is wonderful. Uh, yet, yeah, uh, Speed Bang is exclusive. We've actually got Speed Bang exclusives all across the board. So these, some of these are runs that have never been seen before. Some of these are brand new runs for new runners. Some of them are new games for existing runners. So we're going to end up seeing some wonderful runs here today. Um, the other thing that we've also got coming up later on today is actually the uh, Sausage Tier uh, Speed Run by Garlips, which is going to be wonderful to watch. I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the positioning of some of the sausages. Um, there won't be too much dispute. But, uh, yeah, I, I must agree with the uh, placement of the jumbo battered sausage. It's a... Mwah. But uh, we're going to end up seeing um, the first run today, which is going to end up being uh, Sausage Hunter by myself. It's, uh, it's a game. It functions. It loads. Um, I, I initially thought that I was going to need 20 minutes to do it. I thought 20 minutes will end up being a reasonable amount of time. So tune in and get angry in the comments. Oh my goodness, it is going to end up being controversial. Um, that's going to be coming up a little bit later on. Um, but uh, yeah, we ended up having uh, 20 minutes down as the estimate. 
So I thought 20 minutes, that will allow failures, botches. Um, I did a couple of runs of it, and uh, my time has now lowered uh, to the point where it's under under three minutes. So, um, yeah, the amount of time that I thought it was going to take dropped massively. So um, either we're going to end up seeing several runs of it today, or we're going to end up seeing one or two really good runs um, of it, or we're just going to end up having one run of it, and then we're just going to move back onto the holding screen. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick about a minute break whilst I glug some tea and then uh, we're gonna get straight into the run so uh, thank you so much for joining so far um, don't forget to use the hashtag hashtag bangers or speed bangers 23 uh, just to end up uh, getting hype in the chat whatever you so wish to do uh, it's uh, it's all part of the banger experience because we're gonna end up having some wonderful bangers today There we go. That was an awkward ending to that uh, that track. That lovely little bit of lo-fi just uh, awkwardly cut off there. Welcome on in, 16-bit hyper turbo. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Happy birthday, by the way. Hopefully, you are having a most excellent birthday. Uh, I presume you finally turned uh, 21. I imagine. If you want to reveal your age in chat, feel free. But otherwise, you know, on Monday. Oh well. Happy birthday for Monday. It's always pleasant. Wait a minute. Monday? Ah ha ha. Well, that's a cool winky dink. My brother actually has his birthday on Monday as well. So that's uh, very cheeky. 38 on Monday. Oh ho ho. Crimey. Well, you look like a very young and lots of energy in there. Oh, welcome on in, Marty Nooseneck. Yes, I've gone all out on uh, everything here in terms of the UI. It's all sausage. It's just all sausage, all bangers. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, don't forget to end up chucking out some happy birthdays to 16-bit Hyper Turbo. Absolutely gem of a lad. So if you haven't already given him a... Actually, you know, for his birthday, I'm going to give him a little bit of a shout out. We're going to give... I'll be Metroid challenging. Oh, my goodness. 16... Bit Hyper Turbo. And uh, also, if you aren't following Pixel Portable, um, he's going to be on the up and up. He's do he does uh he does he does the runs. He does uh, lots of random things um, on his channel, mostly involving retro systems and handheld. Uh, if you haven't already guessed by the name Pixel Portable, not a problem, not a problem. Right, so we're going to get into this. So this is Sausage Hunter. Sausage Hunter doesn't have much to it. Um, this is this is all of the menu that you end up getting. As soon as I hit return, we're going to start the timer. Everything starts. Oh, lovely. Um, everything starts as soon as I hit return. Um, enter, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're, we're not going to end up getting into an argument today, but I might start a poll whether it's return or enter. Um, I've always ended up saying return, uh, but obviously it does say enter on the keyboard, but it's just old hat. But anyways, I'm, I'm waffling on because uh, this run does not have much to it. It's seven stages, and you're going to see what we mean by those seven stages in just a moment. Um, enter for me, yet another inversion. You Actually, no, we're going to do it. We're going to start the poll. We're going to start the poll. We need to get this settled. Uh, is it return or enter? All right. 
Do you want to know the best thing? That pole is actually going to last longer than this run. It's honestly. Right, I'm going to get started and we're going to get ready in three, two, one, go. So, this is our titular hero. He is a cat. He wants to get the sausage. So, we're going to run across the stage and get the sausage. Now, as you might have noticed, he's actually got a gun. You don't need to worry too much about the gun. He's just going to use that to get rid of objects. And we're going to jump over here and we're going to bounce on up and get the sausage again. That's a risky one. Oh, but we do it anyway. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, you didn't actually get the bubble there. Don't worry. It's because we've got to go back. So we're going to jump over. Oh, only just. might be thinking to yourself, why did you shoot those bubbles? Surely you need them. Nope, they're actually a distraction. Don't let the bubbles distract you. Oh, there we go. That's our first death of the run. That's one too many. That's going to screw us over in just a moment. Like that. We've got to be exact with our bullet usage here. I stuffed it up there. There we go. Look, we're actually using time now. This is wonderful. We might not actually beat my PB on this run. Especially if not if I end up accidentally hitting space like that. Wonderful. Ah, oh, here we go. This is our wall now. This is our wall of this run. Right, here we go. Level complete. Here's our first enemy. The Steam page says that there are loads of enemies in this. I've actually counted. There are only three enemies in this game, and they're all snails. Right, here we go. Oh, sorry, there's four. There's four enemies. I miscounted. I'm having a good one here. We're, we're doing great now. Need to get the timing right on that. Well, the height right on that. Because what we want to do is we want to shoot the bubble. But have it pass over the top of us. Right, here we go. Oh, we were so close there. We were so close and yet so far. But in the end, we didn't get the sausage. You can actually soft, soft lock yourself on levels if you don't end up leaving bubbles to get yourself across. Right, and we should be coming up on time. Time. And that's it. That is literally it. It says... This really reminds me of fishing. And that's it. That is literally the entire run. Um, as soon as it ends up ending. There we go. Everything goes mad. So uh, looking for game to capture. Let's get rid of that. So yeah. That was that was Sausage Hunter. Um, 317. So we're actually over my PB there. My PB is now actually under 3 minutes. Um, it's it's a game. It's for sale. It's It's on sale right now. Great sausage percent. Thank you, thank you. We got the sausages. Uh, the cat is happy. It used an air gun to do some things. Oh, I'm just going to transition quickly. Oh, no. There we go. So, uh, there we go. That was Sausage Hunter. Um, as you can see, there wasn't a lot to that game. Um, as you can see from the fact that there was uh, lots of hazards and things like that, I thought, oh, 20 minutes, there must be loads of levels to this game. Like, they wouldn't sell a game this cheap without putting in a few more levels. No, seven levels. Seven levels is your lot. That's all you get. Welcome on in, Markman59. Oh, baby, we banging. We are banging indeed. We're banging all day. We're banging all the time. So, uh, yeah, this looks hard. 
the snails, the natural enemy of sausage, sausage hungry cats. There really is. So uh, we've got a winner now on the poll. Uh, it's enter that wins. Uh, so basically all of you are wrong. Welcome on in Moonrunner1973. Thank you so much for popping on in. Our sausages are raw from all the banging. They really are. So we've already ended up having, we've already ended up having uh, the joys of Sausage Hunter. How's it going? It's going banging, mate. Absolutely banging. We have got uh, the wonderful world of Sausage Hunter. Whatever percent we've already finished one run, but what what say you, chat? Shall we have another run of Sausage Hunter? Shall we do Sausage Hunter again? Shall we try and go through it again and try and beat that time? Because I think we can. I think we can end up getting a better time than that. 3.17. Uh, it's currently hanging um, sort of dead centre at the moment. Um, my legs are slightly open. Yes, Mr. Matt's Redemption. We can do this. Right. Here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to reset. Bang the PB. Well, the PB on this, I will tell you now, is 2.58. Babe, take up for the intestine cover. Today, I want it war percent run. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to get set up because uh, annoyingly, Sausage Hunter doesn't actually allow for uh, a windowed mode. So it only runs in full screen. You can tell that they put so much effort into this. I have a stinking suspicion this was actually probably someone's uh, hobby. This was probably someone's hobby project for a little while. Um, and they just decided to release it onto Steam. Which, uh, is this the actual game? Well, you're about to see the actual game now because... There goes the speed bangers, and there we are. There's the actual game. Sorry, we had finished one run, so we're actually going to finish another run now because Sausage Hunter is a lot shorter than I was expecting. Um, so in terms of content, it's it's it doesn't get you a bang for the buck. Well, okay, so well, a cat hunts the sausage. They have a firearm. Snails are under threat. This game is 100% just money laundering, money laundering platform, but I'm okay with it. I am also okay with it. So. Um, from the Steam page quickly uh, we're just going to quickly go over it see how many of the like for those who have just seen the run see how many of these statements are true Okay. a kitten armed with a blaster tries to catch a magic sausage he will have to overcome many obstacles hordes of enemies hordes also want to take possession of the sausage this will be an epic adventure you will find hand drawn graphics exciting levels puzzles pleasant music go get the sausage so there we go uh sausage hunter is not on src it's not i know i have to put it on there oh well do you get to fertilize eggs sadly not in this game we do not get to do that at all right we're gonna get ready in three two one go So here's our cat chasing a massive, a massive sausage. I was about to say uh, instead of a magic, magic sausage. We go back, we go forwards, we go over. There we go. We shoot this a few times. We jump over. We jump onto the mushroom. Collect the sausage again. Up we go. And that's another level complete. This is the first Trixie level. Nope, not enough. We've had our first death. That means we are not going to be on for a deathless run here today. There we go. Tidy, very tidy. And up we go. And we're on to the final stage. Oh, perfect. Time. I crave the death of sausage as well. We've done it. We've done it. That's another run done. 125 we've actually <laughs> oh well that was smashed that was well and truly smashed 
New world record. That is a new world record. I can't believe it. One twenty five ninety nine. That is, that sounds like a beautiful, a beautiful price for that game. Um, no, it's actually not. It's seventy nine pence. So uh, yeah, it's it's great. Absolutely great. SRPC page now. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the GGs. Thank you for the uh, nices. The flawless. Well, there was a flaw. There was one, one death. If we can get that death out of there, I reckon we can lower the time to 120. I reckon we can get a 120 as possible. I don't, I don't know if it's, it's something that I want to do. I don't think I do, but it's something. 70p is too much. It's 22p right now. He's just bought it. Oh, he's coming for the world record. Look, there we go. We've already got a competitive page starting up on, on Sausage Hunter. Watch your sausage, right? Well, I guess I've got to upload it onto SRC. If you are interested as well in running Sausage Hunter because you've been hit in the head by a horse or something, I don't know. You can join in uh, with some Sausage Hunter. I'm just trying to find the uh, actual page to share. And there we go. Copy. And I'm just going to chuck that in chat because uh, why not? There we go. Sausage Hunter. There we go. I don't even think there was actually a category for it on Twitch. So, let me uh, just get everything ready. We have got our next run coming up soon, which is a pre-recorded run. This is going to end up being Marty Newsneck uh, with his Sausage Percent run on Little Nightmares. Uh, he's ended up kindly doing his uh, commentary over the top, so uh, it won't be a silent run. You'll end up having someone talking over the top of it as well. Don't you worry, it will be there. Uh, a little bit later on, we are also going to end up having Garlips as well. He is going to end up being a going to run a very, very interesting game about a very stretchy, a very stretchy sausage. Um, fans of uh, the Nokia 3310 uh, might be uh, delighted to see a game like this. It's not the same. Um, there's a lot more of a puzzle element to it, but it will invoke those uh, same nostalgic, happy memories that I'm sure we all have for the 3310. So. I'm going to move us back over to the holding screen and uh, we will be back in about five minutes. So please feel free to end up getting some hydration, getting some food, whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, but uh, stick around because we are going to end up having another lovely run very, very soon. Once again, welcome to Speedbangers 23.
my goodness, why is the uh, Home Assistant doing that? Um, we're going to go over to end up seeing this uh, fantastic run. So uh, get yourselves ready. We're going on over to Marty Noose Neck with Little Nightmares Sausage Percent. Hello, my name is Kevin, or Marty Noose Neck, or whatever. Um, this is my Sausage Percent run of the video game Little Nightmares. Uh, first of all, that was me checking to see if I could skip the intro cutscene. I cannot. Or at least, I don't think I can. So, be prepared for some mild spookiness. I mean, be prepared for mild spookiness throughout the entire game because there, it is a mildly spooky game. Right, so this is, I think her name is Eleven, I think? Um, and, okay, th through editing, it might have looked like she had just woken up from a dream where some ominous figure is looking at her. Um, that is not true at all. She's, she's just hungry. She's now just wanting a sausage. Hence... Sausage percent beat run. In terms of my gameplay or my experiences with this game, I've only ever played it like three times, and the last time I did that was in, I don't know, like 2018? So, kind of going back into the game essentially blind is not really how you're meant to do speedruns. Um, for example, I I was like, I'm sure you could sprint in this game. And I hadn't quite remembered what the button was for it yet. Also forgot how to crouch. And also, I do die a number of times. And at this part, I think I forget how to even, like, grab onto the ledge. I'm like, well, I have to jump up here, but I'm, I'm, my character's not... It's not grabbing onto it, so... I'll just run back, see if I'm missing something. You know what's really sad is that I was actually a tester on this game. Um, I think I'm no longer under... Um, What's it called? N NDA. Yes. I don't think I'm under NDA anymore. Because it has been like five years. But yeah, I, I, I got called to a testing office in Brighton. And they were like, cool, play through this game. Tell us what you think. And my god, it was frustrating. It was really difficult back then and really buggy but it was also an unfinished game so a good example there of me forgetting what i meant to do i will say like even though it's been quite a while since i last played the game i am pretty proud of how much i do just pick up like right away except like how to sprint which takes me a good 10 minutes or so. Uh, watch out, there are leeches. They might look like sausages, but that is just to lure you into a false sense of security. different is a leech from a sausage. They're the right shape, they're covered in skin, and they have, they, they're like meaty inside. And you get like, I suppose they'd be more like a black pudding because they're more bloody, I guess? Yeah, 
at this point in the game, I'm like, do I need to light these things? I don't know yet. Because I couldn't think, I couldn't remember if those are the... If those are the checkpoint markers or not. Uh, they're not. The checkpoints are automatic. You, you just need to light the lanterns for... Achievement, I think. And it's the same with those gnomes that keep running out of everywhere. Like, if you hug all of the gnomes, you get an achievement as well. I don't think I've got that one. Oh, yep, right here. Muscle memory kicks in. I'm like, wait a minute. You can sprint in this game. You have to do it right here. could have cut off like a good minute of my speed run if I just you know ran speedily Ooh, it's the janitor the so one um one quality about the janitor is he does have long arms again vaguely like sausages but they're not The game Bone Lab came out last last year, this year, something. Like that. Oh, I died. Um, the game Bone Lab came out, and it's a VR game which allows you to instantly change your avatar to whatever model you want to upload into the game. Um, one of them, one of the avatars is of the janitor and I tried it out and it was really weird because you're really really short and you have like two meter long arms so when you're moving your real life arms it feels like you have like big gangly arms here's the part of the game where I kind of forgot that you're meant to like really make it quickly to the other side. I was kind of passing about a bit and I was like, oh yeah, you got to get through here as well. And I almost died. Or was that a speedrunning technique? Eh, it was not. Though I believe today is um well i say today implying that i'm doing this like i am not i have pre-recorded all of this in fact i'm not even doing the speech while i'm playing the game i did the game first and now i'm doing the speech um so like that big eye on the wall you are watching mr matt's intern mr matt internet's feed bangers which is an annual event starting from the moment I just said this. I actually don't know if that was a plan. But this is the first one. Um, Wookie Wookie. Yeah, me and, me and Matt have been friends for at least seven days. And at most, 37 years. I'm only 35, so I can't be more than that, surely. And yeah, we go way back. We used to play Dance Dance Revolution together. And I suppose like that's how we got into speedrunning, because you have to run really speedily but just like on the spot and with a bit of coordination so this is my first of two runs that i will be submitting for this event well hopefully i haven't actually recorded the second one yet so if i haven't then 
Matt will now inform you that I did not do a second run. He did not. Uh, see, we've got some story going on right now. She's just really thinking about that sausage. Not like that, you fools. And although this kind stranger does give some bread, you know what would really go well with that bread? Some sausage. And a little bit of brown sauce. H B sauce. But that bread has given her the energy needed to potentially reach the sausage. So yeah, um, this will be first of two submissions. The other one, which I'm going to assume will be later in the day, if it hasn't. In fact, I'm going to request that it's later in the day, just so it makes sense when I say this. Um, the, the other one I'm going to be doing is Skyrim VR. Because I was really thinking, like, what games do I have that even have sausages in them? And I'm dead. For some reason, like, the sausages in this game are just really stick out in my mind. I suppose there is, like, a puzzle later on that requires them. I, don't, I can't really think of any other games where sausages are, like, a mechanic. But I do know in Skyrim you can get sausages, and in Skyrim VR, I'll be able to hold the sausage, and then hopefully, with the right mods, just be able to eat it by holding it up to my mouth. That's the goal. Otherwise, I'll just throw it at some random man. Oh, see there? Right there? Um, that's like, that's like how this, what's it called? Um, oh, and Sonic CD. I can't remember what it's called. It's that thing where he like runs on the spot really quickly to build up speed. I did that. Speed running technique. Uh, I really should have thought of more to say, like, because my subpar playing is. It's, it's not gonna do it. I do think in celebration of speed bangers, I think it's. I just have to get some sausages. I don't have any in the house at the moment. I want to die it, but I I think this is worth breaking the diet for. I'm up in Scotland, so we are more about like um, the pudding sausages, like black pudding and white pudding and even red pudding. Um, or haggis. Technically, haggis is a sausage. But nah, I think I'll just have to get some standard pork sausages. Although saying that, up here we do have beef sausages, which I remember, like, when I spent a number of years down in England, I was 
Like, occasionally you just had cravings for them. They kind of just taste, taste like burgers, but just in sausage shape. Also, the weird thing is, you know, I could get, like, sausages from the local butchers here, but I've always found it a bit strange because in Orkney, which is where I'm from, we don't have any pig farmers. I'm like, well, then they're not really, like, I suppose they're, like, locally made sausages, but the, the pig isn't local, so... Maybe that's why we have beef sausages? Ah, oh, but saying that, um... You know burgers? Of course you do. They're kind of like the sausage's cousin. Um... They're called hamburgers because they came from Hamburg. Which makes, you know, loads of sense. But then we just kind of shortened burger to mean a sandwich in that shape, round. So then everyone's assumption was, well, hamburger is a burger made out of ham. And generally everyone is like, no, we know that is not, we know it's made out of beef. But I got a pack of hamburgers from the local butchers here and yeah, they were made out of ham and it was awful well it wasn't awful as in like it wasn't o-f-f-a-l but it just it just wasn't very good it was kind of like that sort of gamini ham it was like really really salty and it's just not what you really want in a roll Being could play this game in VR. Because my assumption is, like, the world is full scale and her and the other children are just really small. Or is it that. Well, I mean, because, like, also the rats are really big compared to 11 so hmm i'm sure there's some game theory video about it but i don't know if i care that much say that like little nightmares these games aren't like some of my favorite like this is my favorite games well, one of my favorite game series even though I typically only play them like once or twice and I'm like okay I'm, I'm good the um 
there is DLC for this game as well. Which I obviously do not go into. Because I don't know if there's a sausage in it. And then there is Little Nightmares 2. Which I have only played through once. And I really do want to play through that one again. And try to get like a hundred percent through it because apparently there is an alternate ending. Up oh, here comes the sausage pangs again. This is gonna ruin this video game for me. Am I only going to be thinking about sausages whenever I play this game now? Probably. Worth it? Yeah, probably. Sorry, who's doing that? Uh, that is going to be Garlips doing the silly oh, sausages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can tell this was pre-recorded. I, I sure hope that is that is a speedy sausage recovery. Oh, it will be. It will be. Garlips is the next runner. If you aren't following well, him maybe already, not that do so. Way. Smell haggis backward. You I didn't ask that about the weather. Why are you talking about the weather? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. Like, I, probably, I should probably, like, instead of just letting this go and recording along the way, I could have probably, like, figured out what I was going to say beforehand and talked about it as and when I got to specific points. Like, in this part, for example, I think it's this cage that you pull right here. The character in there is the character from the DLC? Or like the, the one that was dragged away by the Jenner, I think is the is the DLC character. I don't know if you need to do that and like boost yourself forward with some momentum, but it's fun. As you can see, again, forgot what to do. Oh yeah, oh Claire, okay. There we go. Oh, interesting. I think that was teaching you the mechanic that, yeah, some floorboards are creaky. And this guy, Ain't got no eyes, so freaky floorboards are your downfall. I am an amazing speedrunner. Ah, uh, see, what I was doing is I was resetting his position. Uh, to lock him into this specific animation because that saves time. No, I step in the floorboard again. My man, you need to get your inhaler. a joke to lighten the mood um my life is, is that Who's a good joke <laughs> no that's not how that works ha 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 
Oh, that's all yeah, That's a great one. You have another. Tell me, um, tell us another joke. I've winded the banger across the road <clears throat> to get its MOT, but I've already used that one in chat. That I'll tell you. Earlier. I'll tell you a joke. Okay. My, my gameplay skills. Oh, I see what you did there. Playing fine, man. You're playing fine. It's, it's all going well. Uh, quick, out, quick shout out to my band, Siamese Catwin, who you may have heard, kind of, in some of Matt's videos. Um, he's asked me to do some musical elements for some of his. Twitch stream adverts. Um, you know, that's not really my band. That's just me making music. But considering I do all the music for my band, Siamese so Cat Twin. Oop, shoe jump scare. Um, then I guess technically, technically these songs are Siamese Cat Twin. But the actual Siamese Cat Twin is like um, weird new metal. Speaking of shoe jump scare. Oh no. It's um Megalodon, like the Doc Martin, but Mega Megalod Mart Mega Do Doc Megalomart Mega Mart I don't know. There's something there. But I am tired. Oh no Run Kevin from the past. weirdly on you. Okay, I do kind of panic here because I'm like, oh no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I hide in this box. for Halloween? Not much, mate. I don't like Halloween. You may have already answered this, but will there be, like, a special spooky Halloween stream? Uh, there will be a stream. Because there should be, be. It won't be spooky. With fancy dress. Or, you no. know, just go to, like, a party with... But if you want a spooky stream, I imagine that Garlux is probably going to paint his face again. planning a gig so if anyone finds their self in Orkney in the last weekend of October come to my gig uh, I think the theme is just gonna be like horror icons 
I need to burp. <coughs> I am sorry. Sandia wasn't a sausage based burp, it is um, apple apple and kiwi relentless. Yeah, I've been wondering like which horror icons I could dress as. Because I, I want because I'm gonna be playing a male show, so I either want long hair or or um Freaking cool mask. So oh, I could go leather face, but like a lot of the leather face masks just look cheap as heck. So I, did, I just have to make my own, really. Could celebrate payday you know, freeze also release considering, with considering. Uh, is her name Samara? Samara from the ring. I think because long hair good for head banging and then I was trying to think like well what I'm sure there's like a horror icon that wears like a pigskin mask but then I thought about pigsy from manhunt and I was like oh no actually no again okay, that was accidental right there you're meant to throw it when all the, the Clocks go off, so the janitor can't hear you. I forgot about that. I just threw it, and I just got very lucky. But yeah, I, I can't I can't dress as pixie. That I I would get arrested. Well, there's Amanda from Saw. to think that they put an Undertale reference in this in this game, considering they came out like at the same time, I think, or something. Actually, that's a good point. When did when did both these game comes, games come out? All right, I'm just gonna Google. in there. I mean, they didn't hide it. Yeah, I was also thinking that another option could be I could try and make an outfit inspired by Junji Ito, but that would be very complicated and difficult. Or just frankly impossible. Because all of his most iconic looks and did not have a very natural shape to them. Like spirals.
First time button press. This time. See, again, it was a speed running technique. Resetting the scene allows everything to be in place. Making for more um, uh, predictable enemy behavior patterns. Although I'm very certain that he's not meant to like crack his neck right there. Does he not know that we be one in sausage? And he's just in the way of that? Imagine if this was the trek you had to make to get to the kitchen. I mean, you'd have to do it because, like, what, what, what else are you meant to do? With brown sauce. See, I don't like brown sauce a lot of the times. Like, I'll have brown sauce, like, I don't know, once or twice every six months, which isn't, like, enough to buy, like, a bottle of it because that'll just go nasty. Surely? Maybe? How long would that last? So I just end up getting like, if I'm in a cafe that has like little sachets of like tomato or brown sauce, I just get them instead of buying a whole bottle and then using a whole bottle or not, or just wasting it really. Again, just do that for good luck. This part is was in the test branch that I played. I think you just like get away from him and then you know you just run away and that doesn't happen. And again, those arms very are very sausagey, but they are not sausages. Those would be like a little bit too low standard for me personally. And too bony. Like, have you? 
you ever bit into a sausage and it's got like a little bit of bone in it? Well, this would have a lot of bone in it. Uh, yep. Facing the wrong way, but who cares? It's a speedrunning technique. Whenever I do anything wrong, it's a speedrunning technique. Oh, but here comes the next baddie. But the sign of the chef does... mean that we are getting closer to the kitchen and I think Levin has figured that out and as such it's getting the sausage pangs again wait a minute there's no sausages in here Sausages, they also like squeak, don't they? No, is that was that a bit was that a bit grim? There's a little bit of grim. Uh, hey Matt, tell us a joke to lighten the mood. Um, I don't really tell jokes. I haven't. Got <laughs> uh, oh. Really interesting. See, this is just telling me that I could not be a radio presenter. Because I would just have no idea what to say. Like, Mate, that's 99% of the streaming. The weather doesn't change up here. It's just... It's just grey. Just cold and grey all the time. And that's it. That's the entire conversation you can have about the weather here. And people do. Regularly. Right. We're in the pantry, and as you can see, there are sausages up there, but they are inaccessible. Likewise, in here, there are some sausages, but I am not capable at this time of figuring out how to get there. this building. Right, I'm really proud of this bit. Being a chance. It's holding a sausage. Or she. It's holding a sausage. You're getting it the tension. It's risky. But it means it drops the sausage. And that was my sausage percent run of Little Nightmares. I have now got the world record for this speed run because no one else, no one else has done it. Am I going to keep on trying to get a better time? We'll see. If if people, you know, submit their own runs and beat my time, then I might just get competitive. But until then, I'm number one, baby. Let's go. Dab. I'm Kevin. Okay, bye. There we go. I'm going to do that several times today, I imagine, where I forget to unmute myself. <laughs> um but wow what a fantastic run uh beautiful big banger energy there thank you kevin martin Neck, or uh siamese cat twin 
Um, so thank you so much for that wonderful run. Um, there's some optimizations there that I'm sure that you are watching and going, well, I can improve that. So yeah, if you do come back and uh, decide to end up doing another sausage percent uh, on Little Nightmares, then uh, please, uh, I, I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a wonderful run. Uh, now stick with us. Uh, We're going to be back very soon with Garlips's run, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be tremendous. It's uh, it's going to be a bit silly. It's going to involve a sausage, and we're going to see all about it in just a few moments. So uh, be right back with you.
There we are. Welcome on back. Uh, we have got the ever wonderful Garlips with us here today, uh, doing a wonderful run of silly sausage. Uh, sorry, I've put slippy sausage. I don't know why I put slippy. Oh, it's not slippy. It's silly. It's a very silly sausage. Uh, right. You're going to lose him just for a second. So you should be able to hear the wonderful world of... Uh, the wonderful world of sli silly sausage. I, I need to stop going slippy. It's because I've got... A, it's because I've got PTSD from that wonderful event of... Uh, yeah? Oh, there we go. Right, silly sausage. Yes, it's going to be the wonderful world of silly sausage. It's it's silly. It's a sausage. It's a silly sausage with the wonderful garlics here today. Oh, it's it's. There's more sausages to come. It's going to be wonderful with so many wonderful, wonderful sausages. Now, uh, Silly Sausage Garlips, I, um, I do believe this was a game that was uh, primarily released for Flash, wasn't it? Oh, no way. It's glorious. It's it's a, hot, a long, stretchy, silly sausage collecting hot dogs. What more could you ask for speed bangers? Chat, let's bless the run, yeah? Beautiful. Got to hope for good fireball RNG today.
hits per level. Well, technically you get two hits. The third hit will kill you. Anyway, there we go. Just in time. The sound, no. Can't hear me, by the way. Right, so it should oh, no. be fixed now. Should be fixed. It's fixed now. Should, do, should we restart? We could do. We could do. We got the yeah, time. Yeah, I don't mind restarting yeah. because it would be nice to have a clean one for the VODs. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm an absolute disaster case here. Right. That's all right. No, you're doing it all by yourself behind the scenes. It's, it's not easy. It's going to be all right. So uh, thank you, chat, for letting me know uh, what's going on. Um, when but... did we lose my audio? Did we lose it at the start or has it uh, been I... there for a while and then disappeared? I think that probably was the... all the case, I imagine, or it might have hit it. What... Chat, you're going to need to end up helping me here. When did we lose it? Yeah, did, did, did we have me from the start or have we not had me from the start? I think we've not had you from the start <laughs> from the sound it looks of things. All right, we'll run it from the top. Okay, right. so okay. reset the password. So, we're um, good. This, this is magical. We're, we're... It's okay. You know what? Sometimes there are technical sausages. Not from the start. All right, well, I'm just going to run through it real quick, um, just to make sure. Um, or good sausage. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, my name is Garlips. I'm playing Silly Sausage for you today. The goal of Silly Sausage, you play as a little sausage dog. And what you have to do is you have to collect all of these gems. You see here you've got a very long stretchy body you avoid all the obstacles and you collect the gems then you return to the finish line which is the checkered uh, floor there but what we're going to do because it's a special day today for sausage uh, speed bangers fast we are going to input a password called hot dogs which turns all the gems into hot dogs it's fantastic there it is um so we will run the whole game all 30 levels from start to finish in sequential order and I will count Mr. Matt down again. So you ready, Mr. Matt? I am timer? indeed. We're not going to make a box okay. this time. Excellent. All right. No worries. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Right. So welcome again to Silly Sausage. I'm going to run level one much better this time as a result, which is um, actually what we want, really. Well, maybe better. I'm, I'm not sure how much better. <laughs> but hey, that's level one in the can. Um, so like I was saying, the first time I played this game, I got through it in about an hour 20. The second time I played the game, I got through in about 47 minutes, which is my current PB. Um, and now I'm playing the game for the third time for you here today. So this is very exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. Right, just got through the electricity before it changed, which is good. Oh, yeah, we want to be on the exit, don't we? There we go. Wow, took the long way around to that one. On to level three. I can't remember where we got up to before I stopped. Oh, right, fireballs. Okay. Ooh, the longer you leave the sausage, the riskier it gets, basically. The more chance you have of getting hit. Oh, that was unfortunate, but it's okay. It very much reminds me of that um, old, I think it was uh, Commodore 64 Amiga, that sort of era game where you had to draw lines. Yes, it's kind of like that. Um, I can't remember the name of that uh, exact game, but uh, a game that uses, oh dear. That's a death on level three. Fantastic. Oh no. Um, Bully, uh, aka Canis Canem Edit for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Um, that game has an art class which has that exact same minigame mechanic in it where you have to draw boxes oh, out nice. of the picture. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to go for a straight sausage there. Cheeky little straight sausage. That was a calculated risk. Yes. <laughs> well, when you take a death on level 3, sometimes you just have to, you know what I mean? Oh, that's unfortunate too. Oh, great. It's okay, can I go up from here? That's level three in the can. He does the cute little bark at the end of every level. I really like that. And I only discovered this game because of Speedbangers and my desperate search to find sausage-based games. So thank you, Mr. Matt. You introduced me to something I wasn't, you know, was never going to come across in normal life. So I appreciate that. Something you weren't really seeking. You didn't know that you needed, but now that you have, you know, exactly. you can't do without it. Um, yes, exactly. And anyone who um, wants to play this, just talk to me. 
on Discord, I will put you in the right direction. I also found that there is an SRC page for it, but they haven't yet validated my run from the weekend, which is annoying. Um, I think it might be a bit of a dead board, so I'm going to wrestle moderation uh, back from SRC, and then I will become the sausage, <laughs> silly sausage speedrun moderator. Cue Somali pirate meme, Tom Hanks. We are going to dominate the sausage lords. Yeah, now I'm the captain. <laughs> right, this bubble is annoying. It kind of great yet yeah, the bubble is annoying the bubble will move to kind of like get close to you randomly um i can't really understand its pattern or why how it moves the way it moves right now um but hopefully this will get us past it yes just just oh cheeky 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 bubble you're trying my patience oh why did i miss one <laughs> It's very finicky, and you only use the arrow keys to play, by the way. As, as It plays exactly how you would imagine. But because the dog can hold on to certain uh, platforms, um, if you hold for too long, you end up pressing against the platform, and then the platform will, you know, uh, you will grab onto it, whether you wanted to or not, basically. So in this level, we just need to make our way to the inner circle and then back out again. That was... Oh, good. I thought the saw was about to get me. Mr. John J. Jigsaw. Um, right. There we go. So that's quite interesting. The uh, the dog only becomes active when it's actually hitting the tile, and let the the complete body ends up going onto that square, doesn't it? Um, how do you mean become active? So, the um the actual when you end up landing on that block there the dog has to end up going all the way back to it, and then it will flip. Um, yes, you, you have to um, touch it and then move away from it and touch it again to reflip it. That's the... Uh, so you can't like stay on the switch and then redo the switch afterwards, which is kind of annoying, but it also can you know play to your strength as well in the right circumstance. Right, I'm going to grab this one and then change it back. Ooh. Right, where's the exit again? Oh, right, it's over there. So I need all the corners. And we've got a saw on this one, so we're going to have to wait for a moment. There we go. Bad saw RNG today. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, nuts. I held onto the platform scene. That's what you definitely don't want to happen. But I, the one thing I am confident about, even though I did take a death in level 3 today, is that... um. I just noticed that joke, by the way. Well done, 16-bit. Yes, it's a very hard sausage. Heh <laughs> Um The one thing I am doing today, apart from that death in level 3, is I am controlling it slightly better, believe it or not, compared to my PB. Um, I would uh, end up making more mistakes in the directions, and right now that's not really happening. So, we want to get inside here before all of the stuff comes back in. Oop. You can kind of, like, let go again, which is really useful. Right, and then the second this one comes out, we're going to... Oh, missed it. Missed my shot. It's all right. We'll wait a second. Tense times. You gotta be, yeah, you got to be quick, because, uh, you know, if you get damaged, even just right at the end of your extension, you go all the way back to where you started your extension. So, it's no good, as Sonic would once say. Uh, so those grey blocks, you don't actually have the... Oh, nuts. You don't have the ability to actually grab onto those, which is quite useful because it means you can push the uh, direction as much as you want and you won't grab it, which is useful. Uh, but you'll see as we progress here that the uh, complexity will increase as stages come and go, except for one... St whoop, that one's close. Uh, one stage in particular that I thought was like very easy and came after a very hard stage. I'm not quite sure what they were thinking there. Oh, oh I, I thought I could cheekily get away with that then, but I'm not gonna not gonna do that. But yes, and, and also the music is surprisingly good, and the fact that it just loops forever. Um, you need the music to be good. The music's quite nice, quite pleasant. I like it. Hopefully, it's on Spotify or something. You know. 
Well, I'm just going to rip it out of the game myself. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I think... Oh, excuse me, I want the sausage. Thank you. Um, I think I might use it as, like, stream music or something. Because I don't think it's copyrighted. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? It's not, it's not a bad shout. It would make very pleasant background audio. It's very pleasant, isn't it? And if you haven't checked out Garlips' streams, I would seriously recommend it. Garlips is a wonderful streamer, ends up making some oh. top quality content, so do check him out if you aren't you're already. And um, I definitely think you should follow Mr. Matt, because you're on his channel right now, so what, what the hell are you doing if you're not already? He's not going to shout himself out on his own channel, is he? So I'm going to do it. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> um, thankfully, like a like a beautiful Venn diagram, quite a lot of the uh, the stupid nonsense that we do intersects in the middle, which is quite nice. So, well, if you know Mr. Matt from from his Twitch based nonsense. You probably know me because I've probably appeared at some point alongside Mr. Matt in that Twitch based nonsense. So, it's a nice place to be. It's, ah. it's almost as if we do a, a long running series of uh, a, a a run of something. It's a, like a, it seems like it's evil. Yes, I, I, well, ironically, see, the thing is, you're making a joke there, but now we run several runs together, so <laughs> I don't even know which one you're referring to. Oh, I think um, it's... Oh, this is... That was close. Oh, cheeky. Yeah, on this level, what you have to do is you have to be continually moving against the... Uh, or, or falling back like that, but going over the blades as they come at you, because you need to be constantly on the move. Oh! Yes! I got away with that! That was very cheeky. That was incredibly cheeky. Well done, man. <laughs> you know, if you had one opportunity, etc. Right. Okay, this level's fun because you've got to wait for these uh, things to move across. Boom. Like that. That's my opening. We are slapping sausages today, Pixel Portable. That's a sentiment I can definitely get behind. You should definitely slap your sausage today in honor of speed bangers. Right, this level is a bit of a pain in the bum because once we've hit this switch, we've got to go all the way back to the other side, which is unfortunate. Oh, I just missed that lightning there as well. That was a bit cheap. You're not riding the lightning today. Yeah, <laughs> the timing is very tight, but once you know the timing for the lightning, it becomes easy for you to kind of like do things like that where you kind of move just in time and avoid the lightning, but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes you just manage to catch the last frame of the lightning, um, which Vitality did, definitely didn't sing about the last um, frame of the lightning, did they? Don't, don't forget them. Uh, oh, I missed some sausages. You're absolutely right. Thanks for that. Not to backseat, but yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was looking at them going, no, he's going to get them, isn't he? I was ready to go on my way back, yeah. See, playing this game with the hot dog cheat enabled is actually more difficult because the gems are different colors and kind of stand out a bit better but the hot dogs are all uniform which is what you want from a hot dog but unfortunately it means issues for me but don't worry with with mr matt in the back seat we are gonna do just fine you you mentioned earlier sonic the hedgehog it would it not be possible to end up having a sonic the hedgehog skin with chili dogs now i think that's definitely possible i mean I've actually done some flash coding back in my day at my original job in university, oh, oh, oh. but um, I'm not sure how... Well, I, I think you'd probably be able to decompile a Swift, which is what this uh, flash format's in. I'm sure there must be some way to do it. Maybe we could get a, a, sos, a Sonic skin going. Skin the, skin the sausage with Sonic. Uh, yes, that's that's several words in a sentence that I would find very difficult to say right now, so I'm not going to <laughs> Skin a skinless Sonic in a Sonic sausage? What? Yes, I agree. She sells seashells <laughs> and so forth. Oh, 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 got caught short there. So these spike things with the the glowing dots. Oh no! Right, okay, just need to be careful now. They move every so often. They blink just before they're going to move. So that one's going to move now on the right. Now is the time to move before. Well. Scary sausages in my vision. Right, there we go. So, oh, nuts. We've got one on this side, so I'm going to actually move there for very slight ease of movement. 
Right, let go. There we go. Um, we should be all gravy now. Yeah, that one's moved there. Ah, oh, not even gonna let go. I'm just gonna return as I can. Perfect stuff. This game really right, does. What level are we on? Oh, we're on level thirteen. Okay. Oh, spiral. this is the level where you have to do one big long one. Because you can't hold on to any of the blocks in this level, as you can see. So you've got to be able to press at just the right time. This is the first time I've done this level as well. Oh my goodness. I did it in one extension. I've never done that before. What a run. Tremendous. And if you've got extra lives, you could potentially end up spiking yourself and then end up damage warping right back. Yes, you could do that as well, yes. Um, there's definitely some damage abuse. I've seen uh, the world record for the last level, and they do a lot of damage abuse in that level. <laughs> make... I'm a bit scared to do that as a strat, but um, they definitely do it. Perfect, perfect. So you can see here, so long as you just wait for the gaps in the platforms, you should be A-OK. -okay. Bingo. Cute little barks there. The whole thing just oozes charm. It kind of back to a, a bygone day of gaming. Oh, right. So this game, uh, this level introduces clouds. As you can see here, clouds are one use platforms. So you touch it and then it's gone. And I need to stop using so many of these clouds because I'm wasting them. Oh, caught on the underside. Story of my life. Ho ho ho! <laughs> but we should we should be good now. We're gonna use this last cloud onto. Ooh. We can use this last cloud onto the exit, but unfortunately that bubbles there, and I need it to move. Thank you very much, sir. Fantastic. Slightly bad bubble RNG, but it's it's a really good run so far. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's getting there, isn't it? It's coming up. It's coming up. It's there. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that was a little bit ambitious of me. As you can see, you do get slight iframes after you've been hit, but unfortunately, that's usually not enough to, uh, like, uh, on your next extension, you still might get hit, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't, it's not, like, guaranteed that you'll be able to pass through a bunch of objects real quick. Um, right, what am I doing here? I'm going to wait for this one up here to move back towards the center. And we're going to grab those. And then we're going to go down, get that. We're going to grab this one. And then we're going to move on to the exit and get the rest from the exit, hopefully. Oh, missed my window there. There we go. Right, we should be able to do this. It's a bit of an extension, but yeah, there we go. So we're over halfway now. So I think next is the... Where's the easy level? Oh yeah, this one's annoying. Right, so this one's very convoluted. You've got to do a bunch of switches. Which, you know, it's just busy work. Um, so we're going to change the switch. And do that side first. Then we'll come back and do the other ones. Whoop. That was foolish. Very foolish. But it's okay. We'll oh, yeah. recover. I early en earlier ended up mentioning that this reminds me a lot of uh, Snake on the 3310. Uh, yes, know. it's yes, it's also very similar to Snake. That's yes, I can see that totally. This definitely does end up evoking those old classic feelings of those uh, flash games from you know when we were back in college and things like that. Yeah, a tremendous time. I mean, you know, it was the Wild West. Everyone was making stuff. You could go to new grounds, all that kind of thing. Very, very nostalgic part of my life. Albino Black Sheep, got to give a shout out to that. Of course, yes, the classic as well. Um, I think I was doing badges just the other day, actually. I don't mean intimately, I mean I was singing, I was performing badges on the stream. <laughs> Better clarify. Yeah, thanks for the clarification, um, I was getting a bit worried there. <laughs> um, wait a minute, so I need to actually, yeah, I need to go the other way around, okay. This is very confusing, but don't worry. No, that's wrong. I need this the other way. Right, and now we'll move. 
Uh, yes. I, I was scrolling through Steam earlier when I was buying Sausage Quest or what? Sausage Hunter, that was it. Uh, which is 22 pence right now, so you really want it. You should go buy it. Um, it support that guy's money laundering operation. <laughs> Um, He's going to be so confused. That small... I think it's like two guys who made that. Yeah, he's going to have a very noticeable bump in profit margin for some reason. It's like, what's going on? Um, well, because it's it, we call it the speed bangers effect in uh, speedrunning. It's the power that this marathon has. Uh, but I definitely think we should get the SRC page sorted out for that because um, I can see it being very competitive and also the fact that it's only going to take about a minute to play it. Uh, means that you can do lots of runs at once, which I like. It's just, it's really annoying because as soon as you finish a run, it closes itself. It goes, no, you don't <laughs> want to do this again. You don't want to ever do another run of this. We're just going to close it. It's like, cheers, game. <laughs> yes, Sausage Hunter is complete. You, you may move on with your life now. Why would you bring yourself to play this again? Um, reasons. More, more games need to have reasons. the options of just deleting themselves after they finished. It's like, oh, that's it. If you finished it now, goodbye. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of games like that where they're only supposed to let you play like the one time because it's, all your choices matter and you don't get to do it over kind of thing. Um, right, so this level's a bit tricky. Oh, yeah, gonna incur a, a hit there. That's fantastic. Um, so you'll notice that the platforms move r randomly and you can end up just being on the wrong side of one through pretty poor luck, to be honest. See, I've got one coming at me right now. So I'm going to have to do that. Um, now that one's woken up. We can go this way. Right, now I've got to make it back. Oh, see, they're all moving. That's a death. That's unfortunate. That could have been avoided. It, it, it's also yeah. cute how he dies as well, well where he inflates. <laughs> His body swells and then he, yeah, he detonates. It's, uh, you know, it's happened to many of my friends. You know, it's dangerous. You need to be careful. Eating too many hot Out dogs, there. that's it. Exactly. I love how the change from, from gems to hot dogs in, it introduces a subtle extra narrative to the to the play themes here. Definitely. So Wait, where's that one going? We saw a cheats page earlier, and this category is no cheats, so Yes. I'm, I'm imagining now, there are some. Uh, there are some cheats. Um they do different things. Like, there is one that basically, like, increases the speed of the enemies, one that halves the speed of the enemies, etc. So, you can run all of these different categories on SRC, well, providing the mods are awake and they uh, qualify your runs. But, um, uh, that's why they're all different categories. No cheats just simply means no, no cheat modes, just any percent, regular any percent. But, um, uh, I'm not sure where they stand on cosmetic ones, because some of the cheats have no gameplay change, like this one with hot dogs. It just literally just changes the cosmetics. I'm not sure if that counts for an any percent run or not. Maybe they would allow it, maybe they wouldn't. Because, I mean, maybe they just technically mean no cheats means no cheats. I'm not sure. Um, if only I could get hold of a mod. <laughs> Mods! Mods! Where are you? Exactly, where are you? Right, so this time I've done it without any hits, which is kind of crazy. Why'd I have so much trouble the first time? What a redemption arc that was. <laughs> I think that level's really hard, and now this is the easy one. Yep, this is the easy one. Watch this. I've completed this one in one extension every time. So all you need to do is look at the, the pattern of the enemies, and you're good. Why is this level harder than the last one? <laughs> What's going on there? I think they wanted to give you a palate cleanser. Yeah, maybe. Because, yeah, the hardships are still to come. As, uh... Right, so we've got four, um, oh, more, yeah, one, two, three, four, five fireballs in this level. We just kind of want to clear out a side at a time, because these fireballs are not random. They, they, uh, you know, you can observe a pattern that they are adhering to very strictly. So, with that in mind, we can grab things as and when. That was a bit tight, but okay. They're basically just hitting the uh, the slippy blocks, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are. Yes. That's a good way of uh, telling, actually. So we're going to go for the exit now and just grab these other two. It's a very clean level. Well, he says that he hasn't finished it yet. 
Very clean level. There we go. <laughs> Bang tidy. Bang tidy. Right, this one is a bit of a cluster fudge, but don't worry. We've got it. We've got it. Right, I think that's going to hit me if I don't move. Yeah. You can kind of tell. It's a bit hard to tell where they're going to land, but, you know, if you've seen a lot of fireballs in your time, yeah, I knew that was going to grab me. Wasn't really much I could do about that at that point. But you can be literally the square next to where they land and you won't get hurt, which is good. But it's sometimes a bit iffy to judge it. So there's no area of effect on these fireballs. Yeah, they, they just uh, they go anywhere they like. Um, thanks for that. You always tend to miss something by one in this game, and it's very frustrating, because you're like, I swear I had that. <laughs> but um, it is great fun. I do recommend it, and I can give you the hyperlinks. Uh, Supernova Player is free. Uh, the game itself is free as well. All you need to do is go to the hyperlink and install Supernova, and it just works. So, it's fantastic. And Nitro have lots of other games on there as well, which is... Cool. I've not checked all of them out. There are more Silly Sausage games as well, believe it or not. But I haven't looked into those yet. Yeah, I've, um, because uh, Silly Sausage is not um, a game on Twitch, I've had to end up putting it under one of the other ones, which I think is Meatland. Silly Sausage and yes. Meatland. As, as far as I'm aware, Meatland is the... Well done, Carlos. Meatland is the sequel. So ah. this one came first, then Meatland. Meatland is also on iPhones, and I've downloaded it for my iPhone, but I haven't actually checked it out yet. That was also very silly, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. Right. So this looks like hell on Earth, but it's actually okay if you know what you're doing. Right. So we're gonna wait for the blade to go, just so there's less chance of hitting it. Oh, that's silly. But I just need to get in. I just need to get inside. Oh, that's death. He almost. Sorry, keeps... I'll try again. Chat. He almost keeps saying the name of the game. He almost keeps saying it. <laughs> I'm such a silly Frankfurter. Oh, he's teasing you, chat. He's teasing you. <laughs> I just need to get inside. Yeah. I mean, doesn't everyone? Right. Here we go. Look at that extension. That Beautiful. was fantastic. Um, right. Oh, what are you doing? See, that's an instance where I thought I'd pressed up enough. But clearly not. Watch this for showing off. Oh! Now I'm just... I'm taking the Wii. That's what I'm doing. Oh! Oh! Icarus. Flew too close to the sun there. There you got one right. hit remaining. Yeah, we've only got one hit remaining, which makes me a bit nervous, but don't worry, we can do it. Um, I'm going to wait for the blade to uh, reach the, the cycle that I need it for. Right, here we go. Right, just need to not hit this thing on the right here. Oh my goodness, I hit the one on the left! Oh, oh that's painful. But you know what? It's okay. Can't keep a good hot dog down. You really cannot. <laughs> you constantly want to, to vomit? I, I, I'm not sure what that statement means, to be honest with you. Uh, but, yes. Okay, now I'm just trying to show off, I guess. Um, right, here we go. That's the gap there. See, quite often it's just about knowing what particular gap is the one that, you know, gives you the least chance of hitting something. And you do become a bit more comfortable with these crazy looking things after a while. Uh, the final level is quite fun. It, it, when I say fun, I mean annoying. Oh, should have waited just a little bit longer. There we go. Oh my goodness, are you joking? Look, we've got enough drama here already. I don't need to do this on one hit. Come on. Chat, he's doing this on purpose. He just loves the drama. He's like, I know... I've got to have this last section with only one hit. Like, everything else is flawless. Last You've got to keep on watching the marathon. What better than, you know, the drama of this? Top tier content. High stakes Nitromi gameplay, exactly. Right, here we go. 
Oh, I wasn't sure there. When you're not sure, just let go. Okay, just try again. Oh, we got there in the end. Fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful. On to level 23. Um, oh, this one's fine. Yeah, this one's not too worry worrisome. Oh, that was a bit silly, though. You, uh, you cannot get an Ouroboros-style situation in this game, by the way. You won't start eating your own uh, tail. So, you're safe from that. Right, we're just going to wait for this one to move past. Excellent Ooh. advice in this game. Not so good if you're climbing. <laughs> What's that? A full extension or grabbing oh, onto a block? If you're just if you're just not sure, just let go. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I want to hit this switch about now, which blocks those things in. We'll grab all these sausages. Then we need to unlock each side, um, and this can be a bit tricky. So here we. go go. In fact, no, I'm going to go do this side first, because this side has not got one on the ground. As you can see, it's like one square up, so I can kind of try and do as much as possible without taking hits. Right, and then lock them back away. Then over to this one. Unlock. Oh, clean! Right, okay, now there we go. And lock them away again. Boom. What a perfect level. That was tidy. Very tidy. That was, yeah. See, it, you, you look, you get really scared if you, but all it, the trick is, you've got to hit those switches at the right time. Oh, this level. Okay, right. We'll do the ones on the inside on the, at the end. I find that works better for me. Because the outside is trickier. So do the ones that are tricky first. In, in most cases, anyway. Bit more carefully around this uh, block here. Right, okay, we're gonna do our first blade jump. Oh, fudge. Okay, second blade jump. Nice. Right, here comes the third blade jump. Oh, ho -ho! cheeky. You know what? I'm just gonna damage boost through that second one. Ah, oh, not quite. But it's enough, you know? We should be able to do the rest by ourselves. Yeah, it was... Without too much trouble. Good use of iframes there. There you go, folks. Perfect use of iframes. Uh, well, it was almost perfect. I, I took some damage at the very end, which kind of ruined it. But apart from that, yeah, it was, it was... Apart from the fact it was incredibly dirty, it was very clean. Right, okay, I just don't want to grab this platform is the trick here. That's what I don't want to do. I want to stay on the exit, there we go. Right, level 26, we're on the home straight now. So, this level's really fun, because you get to choose which clouds you destroy, which is actually really useful. Uh, that's silly, though. Shouldn't have done that. That's also silly. Oh no, it's going all wrong. That's okay, we, we can fix it. We can Calm fix down, it. breathe, it's gonna be all right. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> Much like philosopher of our time, Daniel Beddingfield once sang. Okay, I'm dead, but that's okay. This, this was a bit of a crapshoot. We, 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 we can try again. You can, you can, you've got this. As, um, was it, was it Aaliyah once sang? You can dust it off and try again? I do believe it was Aaliyah. Yeah. If at wow. first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Yes, try again. Exactly. She was, of course, talking about speedrunning. She really was. She apps. I think she ended up having world record. In, I think in Spyro on the PSX. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, sadly taken before her time. Mm. But um, she got she got on the Spyro leaderboard. She she did. <laughs> Absolutely cracking, cracking I, one. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to leave this conversation now. It's fine. We've left it now. We're, we're back onto the silly sausage. Exactly. Perfect. Just like, just how you want it. Right. I need to get into the center here. If you could be, please move. 
Um, that'll do, I guess. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done here. This is fine. Welcome in, Draven. Aaliyah is one of the OG speedrunners. See, I, I knew she was special. I just thought it was in an R&B capacity only. More fool me. Okay, we're almost done. As you can see here, you can really make this level your own because, you know, you can choose what clouds you want to get rid of, you know? Uh, we've got blades on the exit, but there we go. Fantastic. Oh, thank you, Pixel. It's lovely to have you stop by. Right, so on this section, we're going to use the... Uh, we're going to go directly into the spikes, apparently. Um, on this section, you want to use the clouds... Um, except for in the center, you want to use the blue blocks. And the reason why is because you need the clouds on the way back. Um, this is something that I discovered the first time playing this level. I was like, oh, okay. So, we're going to grab the blue box. I'm going to grab the other blue box. We're going to try and get past this blade if we can in one movement. Oh, fantastic. Right. Onto the cloud. Oh, nuts. Just gonna grab this real quick. If we take the damage, we may as well use the damage by abusing it. Right. And now we have our, our route back. Yeah, the red blocks. Okay, and don't miss the cloud. Don't miss the cloud. Oh. Right, we're going to take it safe and move to this side of the blade. And we're going to hop over the blade. So we're on one hit. So, don't need to be making silly mistakes here. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, my God. That was tense, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this level is a pain in the bum. Uh, but the first bit is easy. Well, providing you actually grab the platform. Like you're supposed to. There we go. Now, it's the cycle on the way back that confuses me. So, like, if, if going right to left is the way there, the way back cycle is what confuses me. Um, right, here we go. I think if I go up here, and then... Yeah. Right, but the way there is easy peasy once once you get the uh, the cycle to line up. Oh. <laughs> or not. I've never done this level hitless. I'm just putting that out there, universe. You could do me a good... Do me a solid. Give me a, a hurt... A damageless... This level, please. Wish him good luck. Yeah. Um, I don't think... No, this was a mistake. But that's okay. We're just going to damage boost out of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoops. No. Grab that, please. Oh, my goodness. So stressful. Unnecessarily so. Cheeky ending. But that was going so <laughs> well, and then you end up having to say, oh, I've never done this damageless. Yeah. I'm a genius, you know? I like to scupper my own chances wherever possible. Right, let's, uh, I try to grab as many sausages on this, no, no. I try to grab as many sausages as I can on this, uh, before changing the switch. Uh, because, obviously, once you let the, uh, the little robots out of their, their imprisonment, uh, they will start moving around the level in very interesting and hurtful ways, so... Ooh, that was cheeky. Right, okay, I'm going to change the switch now. Nope, see, already. Look at look at this rubbish. Oh, no. Right, this one's going to move again. I'm just going to let it move. Oh, it's going to go back up there. Of course it is. Could have gone sideways. Could have done a number of things. Right, okay. Where's this one going? Sideways. Of course it is. 
Ah! They are so cheeky, those those little robots. Professor Sod and his laws that he invented. I mean, no! Could he not? Could he have not done that, please? Because, uh, you know... Now we're all living with the consequences. Cheeky. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit cheeky. You know what? I'm going to grab these up here now. It's a bit dangerous, but we're going to kiss the sides and grab them. Because that way, it's even less movement we've got to do once the robots are free. Oh, missed it. You know what? Never mind. Also, I like to headbutt those as well. <laughs> Why not? Just as a bonus, you know? Yeah. I'm going to go for it again. I'm going to try and kiss this one. Yeah. Right, okay. Cool, right. We're going to change this over. They went sideways. That's interesting. Where are they going now? Oh, oh! So close. I just missed the platform. Yeah. Even though I was grabbing it as the sausage, I lose it because I took damage, which is really annoying. Um, right, the second this one moves, down we go. Now we're going to check. Oh! You cheeky so and so. Oh. And of course. Oh no, that's it! I'm dead! No! I thought I had one more hit. Great. This is proving to be troublesome. I'm sure I will get this uh, strategy down eventually. Right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna. Now that I know I can definitely kiss this one, I'm gonna kiss it. just about being methodical and careful. Knowing when you should move and when you shouldn't. Oh no. That's annoying. I should go for the furthest one first, but... Right, there we go. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Now all we've got to do is get two flipping hot dogs. How hard can that be? Right, well, already the robots in this corner are blocking it, which is fantastic news. Right. They're moving again. Oh, lightning. Yeah, I forgot about the lightning. Right, okay, we've got a clean shot now. Oh, oh, you cheeky buggers. No, 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 no. This is all illegal. Oh, that was close. Right. Now I need to get out of the way of potential robots. The drama. The drama of it all, viewer. Absolute drama. I can't believe I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know why I have a full seat. I don't need it. I just needed that edge. Oh, I'm so glad I'm edging you, Mr. Matt. That's fantastic news. <laughs> oh, thanks for the edging. <laughs> Ray, we did that level. It was painful. Right, on to the last level. This is level 30. This one I've done enough times that I'm actually kind of like fairly practiced at. You can damage boost through these gaps where the uh, the enemies are coming through, but I, I'm not good enough for that yet, so we're not going to be doing that just right now. But there is a kind of a rhythm to it. Once you get it down. Um, that was a bit risky. Right, there we go. You have to go all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Like, multiple times. This one, you can get a full extension if you go just after all of the robots have moved. Which is fantastic. You know, we, we like to fully extend as much as possible here at Garlips HQ. Providing there's, you know, danger. No imminent danger. Full extension of the sausage dog. Exactly. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. 
Right, so this is the this is the uh squeaky bum time for one of the better words. Um what I want to do is I want to get the sausage at the end, but I don't want to grab the floor at the end, because otherwise I've got to navigate this twice. So that's the real trick here, is is not touching the floor at the end. Here we go. Oh! That was tidy. Flawless. <laughs> so far. But as we've as we've seen, whenever I say that out loud, it goes wrong. So Yeah, please chat, just send in some good luck, touch wood, whatever, just we, but, we... Um, provi providing I'm doing okay here, we will be coming up on time in the next, maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, we've got to go all the way back up to the switch again. Because, you know, a dog's work is never done. I'm even, I'm playing it safe by, like, not trying to get on the switch first thing. Uh, because then you've only got to move in one direction this way, and it's, it's a lot safer. Alright, time is coming up. I would say in five, four, three, two, one, time. That's it. That's the end of the game. My final score is 820, which is not great because I died. <laughs> what an absolutely fantastic run. And also bad ketchup. Shout out to bad ketchup. What a wonderful finish that is. Just, you know, squirted all over the, the sausage there. Just, that's a new Twitch emote has just dropped right there. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's an absolute fantastic one uh beautiful stuff garlips uh do you want anything to end up uh, shouting out anything you want to end what, up saying what do we have on the timer first of all uh you got a 43.51.14 that's a pb whoa new pb new pb oh let off the fantastic. air horns <laughs> about four minutes well m more like three minutes but still still good i'll take it Hot um dog. we have a wiener oh beautiful <laughs> Right, so, um, anything yes. that you want to end up shouting out? Anything that you want to end up uh, declaring to the world, Garlips? Um, I declare that my name is Garlips. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Garlips. I'm an alleged speedrunner. I also do video games, like, of various kinds and assortments. Um, you will love what I'm putting into the world, I hope. Um, you should come and see it sometime. I stream most days of the week. You can find my schedule on Twitter. Um, thank you, Mr. Matt, for having me. It's such a premiere speedrunning event as uh, speedbangers it's it's prestigious it's an honor and i don't take that lightly believe me i'm i'm very appreciative that you would take the time to include my sausage in the mix so thank you for having me and uh good luck to uh, everyone else it's been an absolute in general it's been an absolute pleasure to have your sausage here garlips and it's wonderful to have you here at the very first speedbangers 23 thank you so much thank you thank you right i will be getting the things switched over and uh we will be right back with more madness shortly.
welcome in. My name's Garlips, of course, and I am honoured to be here as part of Speed Bangers 2023. Uh, Mr. Matt has put on a very fine show for you. He's shown you his sausages, and I hope that you're enjoying them. Uh, this is a pre-recorded section, just all, all, all warnings up front, uh, simply because I'm trying to complete the entire sausage ranking list on Tier Maker in under 15 minutes, okay? And because this is a very, very hard speed run, I've taken the liberty of recording it. I hope you understand. It's simply so that we don't waste time on the day, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's begin. So... Here it is, the ultimate sausage ranking tier list. Uh, we're going to head down here, and we're going to see we've got lots of old favourites here. Lots of newcomers as well. You might not recognise all of the sausages here, but don't worry. I'm going to explain them as part of the run. So, um, if we get ready on the timer, uh, we are going to begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so first off, we're going to start with Bangers here. Bangers, the uh, the staple, the classic. I mean, the event is called after Bangers for a reason. Um, although I have had some bad ones in the past, so uh, I'm kind of toying between A and B here. I think ultimately we're gonna we're gonna slot that into. A. We may revise that later on. Okay, what have we got here next? So we have the battered sausage. Now, to me. Battered Sausage is definitely above Bangers. So actually, I'm, I'm going to take Bangers out of A and put it into B. And I'm going to put Bangers, uh, a Battered Banger, in A. Uh, the reason why I'm putting that in A is because we have here Jumbo Sausage. Now, Jumbo Sausage, I think, sits right next to Bangers, although it is just more of the sausage. You know, it's the same sausage. However, okay, and here's, here's, here's my first controversial step. We're going to take the Battered Jumbo and we're going to put that into S tier. The reason why we put that into S tier is because although a bad sausage is very good, a battered jumbo is more of that. So basically, it kind of it multiplies. There's a multiplying factor going on here, basically. Okay, what else have we got here? So we've got a uh, potato dog. A potato dog is a dog that's wrapped inside a potato casing. Um, they are to be found usually in hospitals in this country, in the deli kind of section of a cafe at... At a, at a hospital for some reason. It's the last place I had one. Um, that's not an indictment on the potato dog, though. The potato dog does not cause you to go to hospital. It's just they happen to be found there. Um, it's very nice. I think, actually, the star of this one is the potato, though, so that kind of holds it back. It's a uh, solid B tier. Uh, what else do we have? We have the classic hot dog. Now, I think hot dogs are very good, um, depending on the condiments and uh, things provided on top, like onions and uh, mustard, uh, ketchup. I'm going to put that in A for now. I might revise that later. So, who else? We've we got sausage roll. Now, the sausage roll is classic. The sausage roll is a staple of parties all over the UK. Constant. You, you can't move for sausage rolls. And, you know, with good reason. They are fantastic. Okay, we're going to move over to chipolatas now. So, chipolatas, I think, depending on the chipolata, it can actually be better than a banger. Yep, yep. Controversial. I know, controversial. But um, yeah, I'm just going to put myself out there. And also Lincolnshire, while, while we're being controversial, um, I think a Lincolnshire is below a banger. Sorry, that's just who I am. Um, I've got to be me. Moving on, because I, I will understand that's probably upset a lot of people, actually. Um, while we're upsetting people, I'm going to take the, uh, the black pudding and I'm going to put it in the bin where it belongs. I don't like black pudding. I despise even the concept of black pudding. If you like black pudding, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Reassess your life. We also have white pudding. Now, I've never eaten white pudding. It does seem to have the same kind of ingredients as black pudding, but without blood in it. I'm not sure if that's enough to elevate it out of the bin, to be perfectly honest with you. It's got fat in it instead, which, you know, it's you don't want a big chunk of fat. Essentially a cake of, of fat. Not, not into it myself, personally. Returning to the top of the table, um, I'm going to take Sukuk, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put that just below a bat of jumbo. Um, there is a kebab shop near my in-law's house uh, that serves Sukuk, and it's... Oh, it's it's so good. You need to try Sukuk. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Um, now, here is a sausage loved the world over that I just I cannot say I can get behind, and that is chorizo or chorizo, however you want to pronounce it. I can't say I get on with it personally. I think it's a step above a black pudding. 
but mm, I, I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. I think, again, it's just the wedges of the, the cubes of fat that you can see inside the sausage. Like, if I'm eating fat, I kind of want it to be hidden. I don't want to know that it's there. And with chorizo, it's, it's, it's very much front and center. Uh, what else do we have here? So, we have a worst, a classic worst. Um, I'm going to put that in B. It's a classic for a reason, uh, but it doesn't set my world on fire. And I actually far prefer what I'm going to move on to next, which is the Frankfurter. The Frankfurter is good. I like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's above Banger, though. See, I'm, I'm, I'm already going to have to reassess this uh, this listing now. Um, bangers. Battered. I'm going to put I'm going to put the battered sausage into S. I'm going to put the banger into B. The jumbo's kind of got to go with, with the bangers. We'll move that up to there. I think that's where we're going to be comfortable with things for now. Again, I said this would be controversial, and it is. It's proving controversial already. So, moving on, we have uh, Chistora, which I've never eaten before, but reading the ingredients sounds absolutely lovely. I'll put the ingredients on the screen for you right now. Um, yes, Chistora sounds very nice. I would like to try it, but because I have not actually tasted it myself, I only feel comfortable putting it at a B. It's definitely above a Lincolnshire for me. Uh, we also have bologna. Bologna is fine. Bologna is also going into B. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. Chicken Franks are going to go up next to Franks. In fact, I, you know what? I'm going to bump Franks down there, and I'm going to keep Chicken Franks up here. I actually prefer Chicken Franks to regular Franks, and that's partially because I don't eat pork anymore. It's not a, a, a dietary or, or a or biological reason. I just prefer not to. I can have hot dogs, but they're just chicken. It's just chicken. And it, it works. It's it's really, really good. So definitely chicken franks for me are actually slightly above a, a, an original frankfurt. Who knew? Savaloy. Um, I wouldn't really pick it out of choice. I think Savaloy for me is going to sit comfortably next to chorizo. Um, it's, it, it serves its place in the, uh, the makeup of the British uh, chip shop. But for me, um, I mean, if you're going into a chip shop and you're not, you're not ordering a jumbo bat sausage or a piece of cod or a puck of pie, uh, I really don't know what you're doing with your life. And if you're going in there thirsting for the Savaloy, I'd mm, maybe reassess <laughs> your, your fundamental approach to uh, chip shop cuisine. Okay, moving on. So we've got a couple more here that I've never actually tasted myself. But I would like to taste, and I've read the ingredients of, because I'm a speedrunner, I'm a professional, I need to be prepared to know all of the types of sausage, even if I've not yet encountered them in the wild myself. Um, that's why I'm a professional. So, we've got a corn dog here. Now, I think I would quite like a corn dog. In fact, honestly, it should sit next to the potato dog, because it seems very similar in concept. Um, well, it's also similar to a bat of jumbo, but I mean, th this is night and day. I mean, uh, just look at the, the golden glory of the bat of jumbo. Uh, what else do we have here? So we have uh, Saichicha Parayela, uh, which looks really nice. Um, I'm going to put that right there because it reminds me of a Chipolata, but longer. And it's kind of been fashioned into this cartwheel shape, which um, looks delightful to eat. It's on a stick as well. Garlops' school of thought is if the meat is on a stick, good times. I mean, you can't go wrong. I know we're talking about sausages here today, but um, yes, meat on a stick, good news. So um, I'm going to put the Sachicha Pariella, Pariella, Pariella. I'm going to put the curly, the curly circle sausage in B. Cool. Okay, another one I've not tried, but uh, I'm not too keen on the look of is Siskon Makara from Finland. Now, this is probably one of the more phallic um, parts of the, uh, the speed run here because they look very much like um, little willies, but... Um, it's, it's kind of like a sausage stew kind of thing, which um, sounds interesting to me, but like as we move from like solid food to uh, watery food, like I, my, my opinion goes down dramatically. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of soups. I think that they are uh, beverages in disguise, basically. Um, we've also got bratwurst, which I've had before. I'd, I'd probably put that on B, actually. Bratwurst is fine. Breganwurst. Also sounds very nice. Um, I'm going to, but because I've not tried it, I'm going to put it on C. Yeah. Again, probably controversial, but I need to be careful here. I can't make too many mistakes. Um, we have Shublig. Um, I think this one is garlicky, which, you know, stands in good stead. But again, because I've not tried it yet, 
I, I, I just don't feel comfortable putting it higher than a C. Um, Kielbasa. This is a garlic kielbasa variant here. I can I can tell from the picture because there's there's a picture of the garlic in it. This is going to go on A rank. It's uh, it's very nice, very garlicky. I'm not hugely into the dried or cured sausages as much, but I have dabbled. I mean, we've all experimented, you know, like back in university and stuff. Um, I did try kielbasa. I did like it. Plus, also there's a tenacious D song about kielbasa, which is uh, delightful. So I mean, positive connotations with with the name kielbasa. We also have Sensen Jokfa. I don't even know if I pronounced that right because uh, I've never encountered this sausage before in my life. Um, so it goes on C. Um, we also have veggie sausages. Now, as someone who doesn't eat pork anymore, the veggie sausage, it has been bad, okay? But in recent years, developments have been made in the technology and veggie sausages are much, much better. So um, it depends on which one you get. I personally prefer the Richmond meat-free sausages. And Richmond, feel free to contact me. I am a sausage speedrunner. It would be a good move for you in terms of PR if you if you supported me by sending me free meat-free sausages. I think I could uh, really do some numbers for your company. Um, I'm going to put the veggie sausages on A. I mean, nothing touches a batter jumbo. Not even not even in the vegetarian's forms. Okay, it's just that's just a fact of life. Okay, so now I think we're going to kind of move into some of the more well. Let's clear out some more sausages that everyone knows. So, of course, we've got venomous sausages here. Um, venomous sausages are mediocre. I mean, I had one once. I did, uh, you know, I didn't throw up or anything, but um, you do taste the venom in them, and, you know, you are rolling the dice, essentially, on whether you're going to end up in a, a hospital. So I, I would urge caution with the venomous sausages. I mean, sometimes they can taste good, but as we all know, just because it tastes good doesn't mean it's not going to hurt you on the way out so be careful there um we also have cucumbages cucumbages are disgusting um now see i've had regular cucumber but a cucumbage is just something about the consistency i'm not a fan of i'm sorry i just it yeah disgusting anyway we have this one um i forget where this is from i think it might even be hawaiian um i'll put the details up on screen but this is the say oa um, and it looks delightful. I'm going to put that right into the B rank there. Looks very good to me. Um, we also have Makinek, which is a Lebanese sausage um, made of, I think, sheepskins and maybe lamb meat or, or also maybe potentially brains. Some of these sausages uh, sound disgusting, but I'm sure they actually taste quite nice. But until I've tried Makinek for myself, it's going into the, uh, the C rank, I'm afraid. We also have Kapati here. Kapatis look really nice, just from the picture alone. So I think I'm going to pop that one into B, you know, just in case. And uh, we also have a frikandel here, which I think is a Belgian one. It's a Belgian sausage. And what's cool about frikandel is it's served with mayo. Now, I'm a big mayo fan, and I think sausage with mayo is, is a combination that's just untapped in the, in the world. Everyone reaches for the ketchup. They reach for the brown sauce. Maybe you should reach for the mayonnaise. That's all I'm saying. Uh, maybe the Belgians have got something right here. I'm going to put it into uh, B, because until I can confirm it myself, of course, we don't know for sure. Right, okay, let's let's grind out a couple more of the ones that everyone knows. So we have jam center sausages. Jam center sausages have jam in the middle. I mean, it's, it's just like your regular donut. Jam center sausages are okay. Um, I will put them on C. I mean, you know, it depends on the type of jam that's being used and whether it... it tunes well with the meat like i had a a beef sausage once that was had marmalade inside and um it worked really well actually i have, I have fond memories of that sausage um okay let's grind out a couple more of these so we've got t-rexages they are sausages made of t-rex i mean i don't know what else to tell you they are a tier if you ever get the chance to try a t-rexages you should it's uh it's delightfully tasty that, that prehistoric flavor really comes through we also have a donkey tea roll, which is uh, dunking your sausage roll in tea. Now, is there a greater pleasure? I'm not sure there is. Um, although it's, well, maybe the batter jumbo will eke out a victory here, but the donkey tea roll is definitely up there. Um, now, what else do we have here? So we have the fabled mythical uh, land of sausage, AKA sausage land. No one's actually been able to confirm sausage land's existence, but many of us believe in sausage land. I know I do. 
we could manage to get to Sausage Land, I believe it would be S tier. Um, I mean, everything is made of sausage, so you're never going to go hungry. And of course, you know, all the people are made of sausage as well. So just think about all the, uh, the romantic liaisons you could have with the sausage people. I think there's ripe ground there for a S tier experience. So um, if any of you do work out how to get to Sausage Land, by the way, the uh, mythical land of sausage, please do tell me. Give me some hints because um, I've been looking for about 35 years now and I still haven't found it. Then of course we have young lynx. Young lynx are baby sausages. Um, as you can see here, the picture is, is very clear. Um, I think baby sausages are lacking in meat because there's not as much of it. So young lynx go into D. Ah, now here we have, uh, I recognize this face. Yes, it's Sausage Tron. Sausage Tron, my fabled nemesis. Um, I've eaten him on several occasions, but he keeps coming back. I walk into a restaurant and there he is, on the counter, ready for me to eat. Maybe one day I will defeat Sausage Tron, but until that day, I, he's getting the better of me, so I guess I'm going to put him in C rank. Now, we have some exotical sausages here. Exotical sausages, of course, come from exotic places, and they are different colours and different sizes and shapes than the regular sausages that you're used to seeing. Uh, but you can go to your local supermarket, you will be able to find some exotical sausages if you ask the butcher. If you go behind the counter with the butcher, he will show you the exotical sausages. Now you've got to be careful with these, because some of them are quite spicy. But I think, personally, you can't beat a bit of exotical sausage. Uh, so it's going to go up into A. Now, of course, we have forbidden sausage. You need to be careful with forbidden sausage, because, of course, it's forbidden for a reason. And uh, this one is made of uh, blown glass or metal, I mean, it's looking like. Um, it's definitely encased within a metal bun, which is going to wreak havoc on your teeth, honestly. It's forbidden for a reason, so it's going into D. But, you know, you still can't help but look at it and want it. And that's what makes a forbidden sausage. It's quintessential. Right, finally, we have... Oh, we've got the two big ones left, okay? So here we go. We've got Jim's 1986 Special. Now, this is a classic sausage. Uh, Jim created this sausage in 1986. And so far, he sold about seven of the sausages on the link. You can see here, there's probably about, like, seven or eight sausages, and he sold seven of them. He's keeping the last one back, and uh, there have been rumours that the, uh, the bids for that sausage have reached into the tens of millions at this point. Uh, so, you know, regular folks like us, we're just never going to be able to afford one of Jim's 1986 specials. But we can hope. We can dream. I mean, maybe one day I'll win the lottery... And I can treat myself to the very last Jim's 1986 special. Uh, it's got to go into S for me. You know, people have been telling stories, myths, about this uh, this flavour ever since 1986, basically. Um, you know, and that sausage is older than me. So, I mean, maybe if I consume it, I will gain some kind of power. That's what I'm hoping for. Finally, we have the Holy Roller. This is the sausage that appeared to uh, St. Andrew in the... Uh, well, I think it's 700 AD, somewhere around there. The uh, the giant sausage roll that appeared to St. Andrew. It was, of course, a holy sausage from heaven, and therefore it must go into S rank, because, uh, you know, the taste must be absolutely exquisite. And time! That's time! So, I do think I did quite well there. Yes, we've got our sausages ranked. I, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this uh, result. Battered Jumbo is, is the clear winner for me. I mean, it, it obviously has to be. But there are some mythical sausages up there, like Jim's 86 Special and the Holy Roller, that unfortunately, I don't think mere mortals like us are ever going to get to taste. And as a result, I mean, we can only begin to imagine their flavour. It must be tremendous. But that's it. So if you're thinking of heading out and getting some bangers today to celebrate Speed Bangers, might I point you in the direction of a Battered Jumbo sausage? Unless you're rich, of course. And then you might be able to treat yourself to a 1986 special. I've been Garlips. I hope this has been most entertaining and enlightening for you because you're dumb. You're very, very dumb. And so I'm trying to teach you things through entertainment, okay? I, I, you know, I've got to break the fourth wall here for a second and say, you really need to buck up your ideas, okay? You need to, you need to eat more sausage. You need to try more sausage. You need to live a little, okay? Can you do that for me? Can you, can you take a sausage and put it in your mouth for me? I hope so. Anyway, I didn't mean for this to become confrontational, but I feel like it has done now, so I'm going to go. Um, but feel free to tuck into a sausage, and I'll see you all later.
Speed bang is 23. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, this has been a lot of fun. Um, it, I, I just like to shout out that Garlips uh, video about sausages and the sausage tears. Uh, some incredible sausage selections there. Um, I will have to end up disagreeing with chorizo there. That is clearly a much better sausage and it should be further up the list. Um, trying it chopped up into various different pastas. Just mwah, beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Draven. What a successful inaugural Speed Rangers event. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the runners. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you. Um, hopefully, the viewers have ended up having fun as well in viewing all of these weird little random sausage speed runs. Um, I just want to end up saying uh, one little thing that we are going to be uh, planning to do um, in future. We are going to be hoping to hold more of these sorts of events. They're not always going to be about uh, sausages. We will be having other ones that are going to be coming up. Um, I'm actually going to be announcing soon the uh, the creation of a new Twitch channel that will be dedicated to these so that we can end up making sure that we can keep them all together. It's going to end up mostly being about uh, certain stranger and odder uh, marathons. It's going to end up being... Um, not just sausages, we're going to end up seeing other weird and quirky marathons that we're going to end up putting together in the future. So um, this has been a lot of fun to put together. It's uh, been a bit frantic. Um, I would have loved to have ended up having a few more runs to end up having for, with you today. But um, the runs that we've had are absolutely incredible and uh, some world, world premieres. <laughs> more wacky speed running categories. We are going to see a lot more weird and wacky speed running categories in the future i would have never thought of doing a sausage percent well you'd be surprised there are a few games that end up having sausages but as soon as you end up being asked the question what game has a sausage you automatically start thinking to yourself okay right that's that's got to have a sausage that's got to have a sausage and then you go and look at their wiki and there's no sausage there um but uh we have found some very bizarre and odd games uh, new games that we've ended up learning the runs for and uh, just uh, had a lot of fun putting this all together so I, I i would just like to end up saying a massive thank you to everyone who has watched this if you're watching on the vod i'd like to say thank you as well um if you're watching um you know on any sort of catch-up service but hopefully you're having a lovely day and uh, thank you so much um i'd just like to say thank you yet again you mean you play Hunt the Sausage in your research? Yeah, me too. I always do. I always play Hunt the Sausage. 
Uh, so um, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's tuned in. Uh, thank you to everyone who's participated. And um, just I'd like to say a, a massive thank you. Um, I will see you again at some point in the very near future. But uh, I've been Mr. Matt, and that has been...